What up, you jeets? I'm out here back in Texas. This is kind of like a an in-between video that is gonna be slotted right next to some Australia videos. But since I'm in Texas, I'm back safe in the United States, I decided to make a bass fishing video for you guys because I know a lot of you guys watching don't really care about GTs. And I understand that, I get it. Look, bass are cool, so are GTs, but bass are also cool. Before I head out to my next adventure, which is just like tomorrow, I'm going to fish this little pond right behind me. I'm gonna be fishing with, where is she? Lucky, you're a little bit too far for my liking. Come on, come here, want some kibble? Hey. I got my good pal Lucky with me, and along with that, I got these guys right behind me as well, Mermaid Boy and uh, Aquaman. Aquaman. No, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Yeah. I had it in my head and I messed it up. <laughs> right behind me, I've got Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. These guys have been doing some diving videos, some fishing videos for the past freaking week. You guys have been here forever. Dude. And I told them, I promised them I'd take them bass fishing. Couldn't promise any big fish, but we're out here now, it's around 4 p.m. The rain has just started. We're fishing in a literal storm. It's gonna be super interesting. My hope is that they're biting on top water. And my hope also is that we don't get struck by lightning. So got two hopes. Hopefully we accomplish at least one. You guys stoked? I uh, Tristan go forgot up. his GoPro. So, oh no, what? <laughs> we're gonna use Brandon's. Oh. All right, let's launch the boat and get to fishing. It's a little wet, Scoot. I'm getting backed in. Put the big camera away and I'm going with the GoPro because it is not dry. Oh, wow, it's really picking up now. Like as soon as the boat hit the water, it is really raining. It's good, it's good. Wow, it's what? 700 horsepower, twin supercharged. That was good. good job, John. I like it when it does that $1,000 reel my ass. You don't think my motor's spooking them, do you? <laughs> God, so we've been fishing for, let's see, a little time stamp here. I think it's been about 10 minutes, give or take. We're focusing on some topwater tactics. I'm throwing a swim bait. Um, wow, there's another fish right there. I paused for a second because I saw yet another fish. We're seeing tons of fish that are right above the grass. This water is crystal clear. So we're seeing stuff that's probably about, you know, 20 yards in front of us. There's a lot of fish here, but they're not really acting right. Like they're not, you know, they're not really eating the swim bait, which is weird. Um, I know that sounds kind of, picky it's like why aren't they eating my swim bait but they really should like a little bit of a little bit of action right above that grass in the strike zone that's like a hookup and there's just they're not they're actually running away from the bait you guys notice that we're yeah. we're spooking a lot of fish we're gonna keep plugging today's game is just to fish post storm from actually it's during storm it's about to dump again probably uh, uh current storm conditions so in top water uh, subtle swim baits and then who knows maybe we'll find some deeper water and yeah, jig them up one, all right i'll update you guys when we crank one You got one? Yo, you finally. Finally. Do you have a bus on you? Yeah. No way. Wow. There we go. First fish of the day. It only took, how long was that? 30 minutes of seeing and watching fish bust? We actually got one to eat one of our lures. And my God, did he eat it. <laughs> Look at that. That's a fish. That's a freaking fish. Oh, no. No, little one. Damn, he just was swimming with it. You spit up some bait or something. Come here, you fatty. Another one, second Look fish. That fish. Yeah, that's a healthy, healthy bass. <laughs> oh no, but the Senko's getting a lot of bites. I just think the, the fish I'm getting on these, on the Senko is, they're just a little small, but that's okay. I just want to catch some fish, get in the groove, and then maybe switch to some bigger fish tactics. I know that doesn't make any sense, but it's been a minute since I fished in Texas, so I need to get back up on the bass game. I gotta feel what it's like to put a, a seven foot rod in my hand opposed to a eight foot rod in my hand. Kicked and gone. Is that one of those large mouth bass with a big mouth, big mouth bass? Is that what you call them? Bucket, bucket mouth bass. That's a, that's a bucket mouth. Big buckets. Well, that sure is a large mouth on that big, Holy. big bucket. Do you, do you eat them? Do you keep them? You should, that's a big one. Did that? that just broke. Yep. That just happened? That just happened. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of That Just Happened. <sighs> All right, switching it up. Not using this anymore. Definitely not using this anymore. That's for sure. Way to go, Richard. Oh, oh, there's yeah, you, you go, keep got rocking, him. Crank, 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 crank. Keep going, go, go, go. Keep cranking, keep cranking, keep cranking. Oh got it, come on. Ah. Don't pop a blood vessel. Ah. How big is that one? Oh. That is a quality fit. Look at the frog is gone. Oh. Popped it. Nice job. That was nice. First, nice Look at this fish. Look at this fish running with it. Really? Look at He's just running with it. He's running with it. Is that it? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, right. but look how big they're. They're actually really healthy though. Look how. F like a little. Oh, look at that belly. He's like a little avocado. <laughs> What's <laughs> up? Another fish. I'm uh, basically just watching these guys catch big bass at the moment. I'm just waiting on you, brother. They are cranking them, and uh, I'm on micro bass vacuum right now, just with the Zinco. Micro bass. Get back down there, you squirrel. Nugget. What's going on? Why aren't we catching them? Obviously, I know what I'm doing wrong. I need to. I need a little bit of lucky to rub up on me. There we go. I need a little luck. How's the belly doing? Good. Oh, this looks really delicious. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yep. Literally Peacock bass, that. spook. It's not a bad one. Oh, it's actually, it is a bad one. Well, it's not a bad one, but it's not, it's not as big as I thought. I thought it was huge. First cast with a spook. Top water seems to be the game right now. The later and later it gets in the day, the more active these fish are getting on the surface. When we first got here, we were seeing fish and not a single one would sniff our lure, not even a little swim bait. They were actually but, running from it. Yeah, they were legitimately running from us. And now, we can't get them to not eat the surface. Cool stuff, man. Nice peacock. Or, nice largemouth. That's Caught on a it. peacock lure. Dude, I can't believe that. If that didn't scare that fish... Oh, nice. Nice. Again, really close to the boat. Like <laughs> All of my fish have to be the same size, huh? <laughs> are, are we just on the small fish memo today, guys? What's going on here? Uh -huh. I'd rather you guys catch the big ones than, than me. Peace, stinky. Damn, that was cool. So this is the bait I'm using. It's uh, it's kind of like a bigger super spook. I use this a lot in the Amazon. It's got big meaty hooks on it. It's really heavy. It's probably like, I don't know, five, six. I don't know, it's it's huge. It's massive and I'm throwing it on a six stick with uh, some braid and we're tossing it out there. If you want to know what I was using today and you want to pick some of this gear up, I'll always leave it in the description below. It's doing pretty good. I've used a multitude of setups today. I've used like two or three but thus far I like this one the most just because it's top water. Who doesn't love top water? I love top water. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. Nice. That's not a that's not a small one. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> it's it's really actually just it's the really same size. So hard right now. Woo. Wow, damn. Like I said, we're not in Australia anymore. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's definitely my biggest of the day. Yeah, nice. Check that out. Fat fish. Give a sniff. Oh my gosh. Give a sniff. Oh, see ya. Uh, what Brandon was saying earlier, which you guys can't really see, but I'll just portray to you, is that this whole area is just a big grass flat. It's pretty deep, honestly. So these fish have deep, cool water. It's clear, it's grassy, and that's why we can get away with throwing top water and basically virtually nothing, but in fact, there's a lot here. Um, yeah, you really can't throw much here. You can't throw like a Texas rig. It is so thick. You really have two options. One, a weightless fluke or a weightless senko and or a spook and a frog. Yeah, so we're gonna toast this up for a bit. I'm still looking for Bertha. Hoping she comes. She'll come out, you think? Dude, I've got it. I don't know. One. That one that you bought? Yeah, that one's so that one I would get that one over any of the other ones. I just got blown up. Very small fish though. Oh. God. He swiped at it and then she came back for it. Come here. Actually, that one's not too bad. No, no, that's the biggest one so far. For that's you. fat. That's a fat fish. I got a little, I got a little morbid there. I was like, oh, here's another small. Oh, wait, that's actually about two and a half pounds. Oh, yeah. Damn it, they're just crunching the spook. Man, no mercy today. It's so weird because this day started off looking like one of those days where it's like, oh yeah, see a lot of fish, but we couldn't catch any. You know that good old spiel. But turned on. Thank God it turned on too. How is it to your standards compared to your standards? I see a fat belly, and that's what I like. Yeah, me too. All right, get back down there. Oh, self-release. I like it. Right behind you, right? Yeah, you're good. Give her a help. There's one. That one? That one? There we go. Nice. Not a bad one. Oh. Not a bad one. Oh, it's fighting really hard. Oh, wow, look yeah. at that fish. Fight. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, 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 can't show you guys this. Caught this guy on a brand new secret bait. This is something you guys probably hear a little bit of buzz about, but you guys will find out very shortly. It's so freaking secret, I can't even show you. That's the first fish I ever caught on. That was like my second cast. It's good news. I like this thing. See you later, Bubba. Oh, hard kick. That was a mean fish. Oh my God, it's a fish. That's a good one. That's a good one. Not a small fish at all. Not a small fish at all. Oh my God, they are on this. He's not enormous, but he's a good one, by all means. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, don't jump, don't jump. Oh, oh that's a stud. Oh, there you go. That's a stud. He, he got me right in the grass last minute. That's a, oh, that's that's a nice one. one. 
Look at that beast. Oh, so majestic. You're like a beautiful green unicorn. I love you so much. <laughs> Check it out, I'm finally on the board. I've broken the 12 inch curse and now we're catching some piggies. That's a toad. I don't care what anyone says, that's a toad, it feels so good. I'm gonna get a release, I'm gonna talk about how I caught that fish. Cause, as you may notice, it wasn't on the spook. Um, I'm sure you guys are really curious as to what I caught that fish on. It's a good fish. It was like the one fish that actually, it was actually the one fish that put a really big smile on my face. And as much as I'd love to show you guys the baits that I caught it on, which are right here, I, I just, look, I can't. So I'm just gonna blur this out. I know at some point in time, you'll see these baits, these secret custom baits, which uh, matter of fact, you guys that I know designed. The time will come, the time will come, I promise. Anyway, this is the first time I've ever tested these baits out. This one in specific I designed, and man, is this love at first sight. She's gorgeous. Caught me two fish and about five casts, and two of them were pretty sauced up. Well, I love talking. I'm gonna get back on the motor so these guys can catch a big fish. Tristan's PB is six and a half pounds. Plenty, plenty of fish in here that can destroy that personal bust. And, well, I don't know, maybe, 10 pounds, that's kind of, that's shooting for the stars, but we'll see, yeah. Yeah, that's that's Brandon's 10 pounder. I mean, if you tie on a ball and throw it out there and catch Lucky, she's about 10 too, so I might crush it. You know what? You would really put, no oh, way, yes, I'm on. Get right, in here. Let me get my double in, let me get my Let's double get in. in here. I, I think she's still on, I don't know, I could be wrong. Maybe we just have grass. Oh no, you got it. Oh, she's on there. She's there. She's there. Oh, little sal salad salad sow. Get in here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's definitely, wow. Oh Lord. my God. Okay. Right, you know what, just, just throw that one back out. That's a lucky fish. Get on the munch. Oh man, I'm, I'm all about that top water. Could be dinks all day and I'd be content. Smallest one of the day. He, he looks fat, just like though. the big one, but he's just shrunk down. <laughs> yeah, he's still fat. Oh! oh. Good one. Is it? Yeah, it's not bad. Thank you, man. Yeah, 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 not bad, not bad, not bad. Man. We're working, we're working here, we're working. Here. Oh! You just heard the fat. Just bah, 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 bah. Oh, that's a good one. There you go. Big head. Another good one. Little spook. It's just getting ridiculous now. Zoop. Torpedo. There we go. No that's a good way. one. That's a good one. That's decent. It pulled really hard initially. That first bite was just like heavy. Tristan needs a spook. That was the cue. After the 30th fish, he's like, okay, maybe I should toss the spook around. You know what? <laughs> Another one. Oh, okay, okay. oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely get a cast up here. Here it is. Guys, ready? Boom. There's the sunset. Here's my fish. And this is how we're ending today's bite. What a gorgeous bite it was, what? too. That was beautiful. You're probably going to get smoke now. Love it. Huge shout out to these guys for tagging along and staying yeah. one extra day in Texas Dude. to crank some fish. It was fun. I did not expect it to be like this. We went out and on our way to the spot, literally on our way, it was raining, lightning, so gusting bad. wind. It really wasn't looking too good. I could tell that there was a, a really distinct sign of uh, regret on both their faces. <laughs> but now that we got out here, I'm glad that we, we opened them up and caught some fish. As much as I'd hate to end the day on a dink, I like this dink. It's a unique dink. So, for real, bud, thank you so much. Be safe. In peace. All right, Sander. It's literally crazy because I haven't fished in, well, I haven't like really, really fished for my channel in about four and a half days, filming all kinds of Guggen goodness, mainly for the Guggen channel. That's what we've been kind of focused on for the past few days. So I really haven't had a chance since Australia to get out and just do some good old pond bass fishing. This was big, this is huge. And of course, tomorrow I leave, I go back to to the north for a bit. Before I sign out and we get back on the road, I do really, really want to share with you guys what I caught the fish on because it matters and I want you guys to reproduce the same bite, you know? What was hot and what was not? Give him a breakdown, come on. You're on the spotlight. 
So this is what we were uh, twerking with today. Y you had you had a lot of stuff going on, or at least I had a lot of stuff going on. It was really kind of scary slow in the beginning. You know, these guys have four hours to catch fish before they get on their flight back to Georgia where they film all their content. You know, no pressure on my part. I'm like, I've barely fished here that much and I really kind of needed to put something together here. Anyway, long story short, we're working with a small body water that has a ton of grass, emergent and submergent, meaning there's grass that you can see that's on the surface and you have some that is just below the surface. That makes it seem like you're fishing deep open water, but that grass is just so thick and tall that it makes up the majority of the water column. So thinking that, you know, look, this is a grassy body water. I gotta throw something that can get through the grass. I immediately gravitated towards throwing, you guessed it, the frog, which uh, by the way, didn't get me a single bite today, but managed to produce some fish for uh, Brandon. Getting back on track, so the frog didn't do too much good in the grass, a little surprised. Then I switched to a Senko, and the Senko got me some bites. It kind of told me that yes, there actually is fish there and they are feeding, but they just aren't eating the frog. So I was thinking to myself, like, okay, so they're eating the Senko, that's a no brainer. Um, let me try to throw something that's a little bit more fun to catch them. So, listen to this. I went back to the top water and I went for the little tiny Zerispo. That actually worked really well because it's got a little bit of noise and you can work that bait a little slower. It's like a very methodical action. It, it stays in one place but moves a lot. It's almost like a bait that's on a treadmill. It's the best way I can describe it. Anyway, this did really good. I was throwing this on a 7.4 favorite six stick and 45 pound braid with an 8.1 to 1 gear ratio reel. Really fast, real nice burner. So if the fish does bite it and run towards me, I can Crank her in. So that was also good. And then in midday, I brought out the uh, the Stormbreaker rig rod. This is a this is a jackhammer, dude. Like just please favor. I think you need to put a warning label on this rod because it's a beast. Along with that, I was throwing this bait right here, which by the way, you guys still can't see because I'm loving that blur tool. No, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. You guys will find out what this bait is. But essentially, it's a bottom bait. I literally made five casts just because I want to try it out. I've yet to fish this thing and caught two fish, one of which being my biggest, and that was paired up with my Japanese reel, spooled with 20 pound fluorocarbon. Fluoro carbon. So yeah, that's that's about it. That's all I have for you guys. It was a really fun day of fishing. Please. Be sure to check the link in the description below for all this tackle. This is essential stuff. I want you guys to catch fish as well. I hope you have a better day out in the water as the one we had today. And while you're checking out the equipment, be sure to check out Tristan and Brandon's channel. They make some pretty sick videos if you're into diving and fishing and just vlogging. They're the people you need to subscribe to. That's all I have for you guys. Oh, and then subscribe to Lucky too. She actually has her own Instagram channel, um, but she doesn't currently post because she's a dog. So what do you think guys? Texas, yay or nay? Good? Yeah. We got, this, we got the uh, the Tristan and Brandon stamp of approval. We are out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you. Take care. Be safe. And as always, keep fishing. Never.